Welcome back, everybody! To Sword Art Online! Fatal Bullet! It's me, Timer! And! It is I, I, Space Monkey, 928! Just in case, I'm checking. I, I'm, I'm checking Kirito's bedroom. Also. Oh! Oh! Kirito's? Uh, where Anyways. would you like to go? Anyways, last time on Tiber Ball Z. <laughs> last time on Fatal Bullet Z. Yes. Um, well, everyone is a bastard, and they keep calling my cyber girlfriend an it. And she ran away because she's sad because we failed the quest. Even though I probably could have killed it. Probably did say even though the health was dropping that it could possibly It kept restoring itself zero. somehow. You know who else keeps restoring their health? Me. I thought you were going to say Kirito, while he's being stabbed by like 20 people in the bridge, and he's just like, oh yeah, numbers are what matters. Well, you know, when you're a high enough level, your passive regen will be high enough. Oh, it's those Yeah, but he also says that numbers don't matter later on. Well, in some situations, they don't. When it's a strictly PvP sense, they do. When it's a case of overcoming the system, less so. Because he anyway. literally does surpass the, you know, things. Um, Whoa there, Tiger. What's wrong? You look like the world's about to end or something. Konnichiwa. Salutations. Daisy, of all the times, try to smile. Seriously. Tell me what happened to Biryanis. Maybe I can help you out somehow. Ray ran away from home just because you lost at the quest? Really? Now you've got me curious. I was able to get inside the flugel with no problems myself. You really should only need an Arphasis unit to get in. It's because we went in with people who don't have one! Yeah. Master, your assertion, is, your assertion is slightly incorrect. When passing through the gate, we did have to engage in combat with an enemy in order to prove we had the strength to go inside. Really? Well, yeah, but that thing was so low level it barely even counts if you ask me. Hmm? It wasn't like that for you? Don't tell me Ray never told you about the... Stop! Yeah, you're right. You should hear about all this from Ray directly. Tell me! What? Still, the fact is that... What you were supposed to tell us! They fought a little low-level creature and it let them in. Still, the fact that this happened at all is intriguing. I don't know what's causing it to act in this way. Its unique personality traits are your own influence as its master, and the fact that I'm sleeping with it! Hmm? If I was to say, oh, I've never heard of it. Now. It's not my fault. <laughs> it is perfectly logical in that, because she says it. Therefore, mm. shut up. If I was to say, I've never heard of a runaway Arvisus unit before, or a master that's so intent on finding their unit for that matter. <laughs> Although now that I think about it, I did see a familiar figure running towards the observatory. I'm pretty sure that it was Ray. I attempted to call out when it ran past. Oh, even you're calling her it? But I received no response. It's impossible. It's possible we may be mistaken. Daisy, trust me, I'd recognize that cutie anywhere, even if I was blind. Okay. No. Hi, Spy Cat. I'd hurry after Ray if I were you, Tiberianus. I've got a feeling it's waiting for you. Huh? What's this? Over this way. There's something happening here. It's a cutscene. Hey, what's got you so rattled- Oh, hi, Basalt Joe! What's got you so rattled up? Uh, you didn't see Scythia, did you? Well, ain't that a damn shame. For you, at least. I'm sure it, didn't, it sure didn't look like it wanted to see your sorry face ever again. And here I thought you were a pretty stand-up master to Ray, all things considered. It's not my fault, she's having a temper tantrum and she's depressed. I mean, you've kicked my ass how many times now, and you're always protecting it and the rest of your friends. And for what? Just to make it cry? I should have known better. You're a sorry excuse for a master, you know that? You think I'm just gonna let you off easy? When you look at me like that? There's no way in hell I'm telling you where it went. Not in a million years! Okay, I'll look for Scythia on my own. Yeah, you got a begging grub for me to tell you where it went. Good, because if you had... My fist would have had a thing or two to say. Still, I can't... I can tell you two didn't just have some dumb fight. Something's going on here. 
Ah, you know, you know. You don't need to fill me in. It's okay. I'm not the kind to stick my nose in where it's not Matt wanted. Real men know when to mind their own business. When I'm done this Let's Play, I'm playing again as a man just to see what happens. <laughs> and maybe, maybe I'll play with the Arphasis as a boy. What, two boys? Why not? Maybe I'll okay. do a Fujoshi run. <laughs> Rule men know when to mind their own business. All right, all right, I'll tell you what I know, but... You have to listen. I'll only say it once. When I found Ray, I told it that it could come back to my place, but all it talked about was how you're its master and all that jazz. Then it took off in tears for the plaza in front of the governor's office. You'd better hurry. Nothing sadder than someone who's cried until they can cry no more. <laughs> you're the expert. <laughs> Thanks, loser. Wait, I gotta go that way. <laughs> He's not a loser. He's a nice guy. Running, running, running. Running. Why don't these escalators work? They should work. They really, really should. I don't know why they do not work. Because I think they should. Because they're escalators. After all. That's a big ship. That's a lovely big ship. It just goes on for miles. Just goes on for meters. No, Arphasis, don't jump. <laughs> finally found me. I always knew you would. Finally! It's been two minutes! Uh... It's been two minutes! My voice has also changed. Josh! You finally found me. <laughs> I always knew you would. It was only a matter of time. I know I can't leave the city without my master. <gasps> I, I actually forgot about that, funnily enough. Master, I think I've made up my mind. I, I want you to void your registration with me. <gasps> there, there must be something broken in me. I don't think I'm functioning right. An, an android who can't serve the master properly is no purpose. I've been such a huge failure this whole time. I, I just messed it up. I'm going to report to uh, back to Mama and see if she can fix me. I, I don't know if we'll, uh, what will happen after that, but I don't have any other choice. I'll return my name too. I don't deserve to be called out by you. Well, so, so long, Master. Uh, no, Scythe is your name and no one else's. <clears throat> Master, I... Are... Are you really sure you're okay with having an Arphasis like me? I'm trash, garbage, worthless! You, you deserve so much better than me! You're the best. Is that because I actually have some semblance of friggin' like, personality? <laughs> <laughs> I I feel the same way. I want to stay with you, Master, but I I don't want to work for anyone else but you. There's only one Master for me in this whole world. And, and there's the one standing right in front of me. Oh, only, only one? Only one! That's it, Master! Now I remember what my mum said. She said I could bring one friend with me to see her. Mine's gonna call you an airhead again. <laughs> Do you think? <laughs> I feel so dumb right now. I'm going to hate telling us sooner about this. She, she's so scary when she gets mad. It's something else. You should really see it for yourself sometime, Master. 
Well, what matters is, as I remember how the flugel works now. First, I got to register in order to enter it and leave it freely. You've got to. Whoops. Initially, only one person can accompany our facility uh, can be registered. That person has to pass the test from the gatekeeper to proceed. But I broke that rule without even realizing it, and I brought three people, which must have made Mum mad. You don't want to get on our bad side. No joke. That's why. Ah, uh, that was all my fault. If I'd remembered this sooner, this wouldn't have happened. I'm, I'm sure everyone's mad at me right now. Everyone's just worried. But if if nobody's mad, then I'm extra ready not to go back yet. Wait, what? <laughs> I have to atone for this grave mistake and set things right first. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little melodramatic. But I want to make up for what I did to clear my name. It's still a bit melodramatic, that. Master, come with me, we're getting past that gate this time. Okay, so we're just going to bugger off without saying anything? Pretty much. We're going yeah. to get that entry key to the ship and then bring it back to the others. It'll be the best souvenir ever. Thank you, Master. Let's hurry and go back to the flugel. I wonder if SBC is Space Battle sh uh, City. Space Battle Cruiser, maybe? I was thinking city, because this basically is a city. Well, uh, like if you look at the map, on uh, the map size, the uh, the flugel's just about as big. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Space battle city, because the SBC Glocken is actually the other one. Mm -hmm. So it's SBC Glocken and uh, SBC flugel, which is <sighs> what I'm wondering if maybe the flugel uh, SBC designation is actually space battle cruise uh, city. Hmm. I don't know. I could probably look it up. Space battle center. Possibly. Space Monkey Battle Cruiser? <laughs> SMPC. <sighs> Snapping Suit F, a light, bulletproof suit for women. No men, no capes. <laughs> no man, no capes? No cape. No cape. No man, no cape. No cape. No man, no cape. My goodness, this is taking a long time to load. Well, it's a big city ship thing. Don't mind me, I just failed miserably. System voice? Hmm? Mom! I'm back! SBC Flugel is a space battle city. Master, you are doing Master is very strong. Hmm. She's saying that she's about to start the test to determine if she can come inside. <laughs> are you ready, Master? <laughs> are you ready? As, are you really as so strong as ever? If you're already so strong, then you'll no, have no problems this time with the gatekeeper. Um, I'll do. I'll do everything I can to support you in this fight. You're kidding, right? You That's the best. same enemy. That's the same enemy. <laughs> Give your best, master. Oh my god, that is insane. <laughs> That's saying you're alone! <laughs> yeah, just a quite an easy little thing. Most well, nice damage, it looks like. Ow! Please stop shooting my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, it's doing much less damage this time, it seems. Ah! I don't think the stunner does much, honestly. No, doesn't seem to be. It's a boss so that's understandable. Well, sometimes it works. Problem is I have a low level stunner. Uh... God damn it! There's no way to dodge those fucking things! <laughs> I bet there is actually some way. Let your balls on fire, motherfucker! I almost dodged it, but then I ran out of places to run. Huh? Good job. Ow. What the fuck? I'm bugged. There we go. Are we bugged? You'll see. Oh! <laughs> that was great though, you were just like hopping! God oh, damn it. Scythia, save me. Since you're not gonna attack, prioritize healing. There really is something a bit off with the AI. You know? Uh-huh. Yeah. Just the way that no thingy uh, AI seems to want to actually attack thing. Half the time. I mean, maybe it's just me, but... Mm. This is such an easy fight! Yeah, it's not that hard, he's not doing much damage. He's stuck Pain kicking consuming. my girlfriend. God damn it. Part of my problem is that I don't accelerate to my higher speed fast enough. Hmm. You just need to find a way to get behind more often, I think. Ow! Fuck! Face change. Oh. Oh yeah, I stunned it.
this death kicking my girlfriend. Ow! It's just a weak spot seemed to do like 10 times more damage. Yep. This is power card. That was an ATAT -AT moment right there. Oh. Yep. Oh, come on, I jumped. God damn it. I wouldn't even say it's that hard of a fight, it's just long. Yeah, it's a bullet sponge boss because I can never get behind him. Because he won't focus on her! Yeah. I'm starting to wonder if the whole game would be easier just if you had the dedicated tank. No, Scythia. Why don't you have a gun equipped? Wait, what? She's not Oh, shooting. yeah, she's put her weapon away. <laughs> like, she just put her weapon away. Oh, come on! Come on, that was bullshit. I can die. Thank you. <laughs> Fucker didn't even drop a weapon. <clears throat> Cough. It was super easy. At last! We finally beat it, Master! I knew you had it on you. Uh... Phrasing? Hi, Perch! Horrible squeaking noisy! You're... you're now officially allowed to enter the SBC Flugel. You're getting you, slapped. As, as you please. You can even bring anyone else along. I can't wait to see the look in their faces when I tell them. I'm and then sure. I can put all this behind me. I'm sure everyone's worried about you. Yeah, you're probably right. That's what I think, too. I really want to see my mum again, but we should report back to Kirito first. Let's get going, Master! Why am I saying we should report to Kirito? I don't know. Have I suddenly become a harem mender or Kirito's as well? Better not have, otherwise I'm gonna have some words with him. 
Hi, Zaliska! Nice to see you again. Likewise, you look like you're in good spirits. I take it you two can now get inside the flugel. I'm so relieved. Congratulations on completing the event. Huh? I always figured you'd pull through in the end, Tiberianus, but I'm still impressed how far you've come. You're so strong now. When we first met, I just took you as a newbie who managed to get by on a lot of dumb luck. You've sure shown me. Now I know you're an experienced player who gets by on a lot of dumb luck. <laughs> uh, Is that what they said? No. It's oh, all okay. thanks to you and your friends. You and our friends. Oh. I don't know if you realize this, but there's a real earnestness to what you say. I wish I had that myself, truth to be told. It's one of your strongest points. I think that's the biggest reason why Rei has grown up to be capable of so many emotions. <laughs> it's undergone a really striking transformation as an Arphasis, and its unusual specs and settings can only be explained so much of that by themselves. Uh, sounds like you've been paying attention. Well, it's not like I'm an expert in these sort of things. So take what I have to say with a grain of salt. One thing's for sure, Ray's surrounded by a lot of love from you and your friends, and I think that's made a really positive impact. GGO is one of those games that has no shortage of players that just love to brag about how strong they are to anyone who will listen, like everything on the internet. <laughs> I'm not denying their strength. Lots of them are plenty strong. I am an ex-marine sniper that had 20 million confirmed kills in Iraq. Shush, shush, shush. But, uh, but if you ask me, I think the strongest players are those who recognize their own weaknesses and use that knowledge to better themselves. And you know something? I think you just might have what it takes to be one of the absolute strongest players in this game. I don't think the Marines have snipers, do they? Uh, like I, I'm pretty sure they have snarp shooter, sharpshooters, but they're not really focused snark. on sniping. <laughs> they're snark shooters. <laughs> we got some snark shooters. <laughs> and I, for one, like strong players. Uh, Let me make a proposal to you, Tiberianus. What do you say about becoming my partner? Ugh, oh, now it's a force. Hmm? I can only imagine the SBC Flugel will be crawling with enemies left and right, and who knows what's out, what else is in store for us. I could join up with the tactical, tactical squadron, I suppose, but I'd rather have a partner I don't have to second guess. Master, don't forget that I also have support abilities that are designed to help you in combat. Of course, I'm fully aware of that. Thank you, Daisy. I just don't want to drag you into battles as much as I can help it. Obviously, if push comes to shove, I'll be counting on you to help, but otherwise I'd rather you'd lie low in those instances. And snipe? Please tell me she's a lolly with a huge cannon. <laughs> yes, Master. As you wish. You just love it when tiny girls are holding big things. There's just something awesome about it, Space! And shut up. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think, Tiberianus? I can guarantee you'll never find a better partner than me. Well, that's uh, rather... I'd love to have you as one of my friends. I'd rather it just be the two of us, you and me, if you get what I'm saying. <laughs> no, you're too mysterious and you're probably going to end up being a villain. But I can't say I'm surprised to hear you say that. In that case, I suppose I can settle for joining up with you all. Huh? I look forward to our future adventuring together. I'll see to it that I'm your right-hand woman sooner or later. <laughs> uh, what are you planning on doing with my right hand? Oh, you know. Eh? Suddenly, Kare has screamed, and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... <laughs> It was kind of out of nowhere, and it it threw me for a loop. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine why. Look, if there's going to be women screaming, I'd like to know why. Hmm? Let's go home, everyone. Let's... Go home and since there's no cutscene, it's time to end the episode. Good night, everybody. And have fun. <laughs>